Oh. As CBS 3 Stephanie Abrams explains, the FDA warning has consumers choosing carefully and the solution to staying safe might be right here in our area. Taco Bell, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, the list of fast food places and chain restaurants pulling tomatoes is growing as folks grocery shopping are finding these signs of what they can't buy right now. Just to be responsible to the consumer. Wegmans in Cherry Hill is still selling tomatoes on the vine, cherry, grape, or packaged tomatoes. But no Roma tomatoes, no plum tomatoes. Supermarkets throughout the Philadelphia area are responding to an FDA advisory that just went nationwide since the salmonella outbreak has spread to 60 states with almost 150 people sick from plum and Roma tomatoes. It makes it very difficult for me because I like tomatoes. I like all types of sauces and stuff. So it's to the point I just might just go completely on a strike. No tomatoes. Salmonella I hear is not good. <laughs> so I, I would be, I would err on the side of caution. The New Jersey Department of Agriculture says your safest bet may be the Garden State's tomatoes, which should be ripe by the end of the month. It proves um, the importance of knowing where your food comes from. John Ebert runs okay, the Springdale right, well, farm and keeps a close eye on his here. crop. The first set, as I said earlier, has started at the bottom. He says that's the benefit small Jersey farms have over the big corporate giants. When it's local, you're guaranteed no contamination. One reason sales here ripen today. I'm cautious about where I buy and what I eat. Overall, I think tomatoes probably will see a decline nationally. Uh, locally, though, I think it will benefit sales because if anything, it'll bring attention to the general consumer about what they actually have in their own backyard. In Cherry Hill, Stephanie Abrams, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Restaurants and supermarkets are waiting for word from the FDA as to when they can accept tomatoes again. For more information and symptoms of salmonella, head to CBS3.com and click on health. And just before our last commercial, we showed you Stephanie Abrams teasing a story on the Comcast Tower. Well, that actually ran last Friday. You can also find that there on CBS3.com. It is an eight-day birthday party to celebrate our country. Philadelphia is ready to...